Hello my lovelies, it's been like craziest three days probably, I want to say over the month but that makes no sense. It's been craziest three days. I'm just very happy to be here to sit down and chat to you guys because I'm really really getting back into making videos. I'm so happy with all the response that I had to my previous vlog which is the Barcelona one. Dushan is waiting for me downstairs, he is editing some pictures, I wanted to have a video which I will upload for you guys, well already tomorrow or maybe even tonight, who knows, um, but I wanted to film something that is kind of like a classic, a little bit simple, chatty video where I can just talk to you guys and um, something that I really enjoy watching and filming and that is going to be what is in my bag video. Now I was like, okay, so which bag should I show you what I normally wear in? And then I thought, why not just show you the one that I brought right today? It is full of, I don't want to swear, but <laughs> random little things. I have not even opened it to kind of reorganize it or anything. It is full of like probably rubbish, receipts and the little kind of girly useful things. But I thought it'll be real, it's like a reveal what's really inside of my bag. And you guys know how much I love this Fendi Can I handbag. So much that I even purchased this shoulder strap which I think complements it so well and goes well with it. I got them both on my 3 earlier this year and I've already worn it so, so many times. Um, before I get into the handbag video, since I'm so chatty and I just kind of wanted to like tell you these things, guys, I have to say I had the best time in Venice. It was my first ever um, film festival and I went with a luxury watch brand called Gégé Le Colt. It was like, honestly, a dream. I like walked through the carpet in Venice. I wore the most incredible Dior dress, like the full Dior outfit. I will insert some pictures. And I mean, I'm just so humbled by the whole experience because you get to experience a whole like other level of art. I am quite familiar with art since my parents are collecting art and they're very much into it. But when it comes to movies, we always loved watching them and stuff, but we were never into the scene that much. Well, my father is perhaps a little bit, but um, not so much my mom and my sister and myself. Having experienced Cannes Film Festival and Venice Film Festival, I feel like I really want to get more into like reading the movie critics and more about like reading about movies and like making sure to have watched all the classics. So yeah, the whole experience was just incredible. I, I, I don't even know what to say, like I'm just speechless, so yeah gonna tell you now about my handbag a little bit more. Um, what really drew me to this handbag is the fact that it is like, it is first of all like an ivory collar, like a super easy ivory collar, it even matches my nail polish. And this is by the way OPI, uh, be there in a Prosecco. Yes, so what I love about it, I love the scallop thing on the sides and I love the fact that you can wear it so many different ways. As you can see you can detach the top handle here which now is very difficult for me to do with left hand because I can't do anything with my left hand. But yeah, this is basically how you detach it. And then you have the normal shoulder strap, which is this one. You can tuck it in and buy another one, which is what I did. Um, what else I love about it? It has two compartments inside. Oh boy, it's messy. It has two compartments inside. It is suede, has some back pockets and... It has a, in the front here those little hooks and you can attach a little Fendi monsters and furry things that a lot of people like. I had a phase where I was super into them so I wouldn't say the phase is gone but I don't know now I'm really into short straps. Anyway I'm gonna go straight into it because this bag is really really busy and messy. I'm gonna go from I'm just gonna start picking up things in no particular order because this bag is really messy so there's no order basically. Um, this is a room key um, from my hotel that I stayed in last week. Then I have my card holder which hasn't changed much I think from my previous what's in my bag video. This is a Christian Dior kind of like same style as the Orama card holder in baby pink probably my favorite color especially in Dior. Um, I just have my bank cards and a lot of loyalty cards and things like that that I like to keep in here. What I love about this so much is that I've had it now, um, well I've had it for exactly a year because it was lost 
um, September when I lost my YSL card holder on the plane. I was returning back from Rome on like 3rd or 4th of September, left it on the plane and then I had to buy a new one when I was flying out to New York. So it's been exactly one year. Love it so much. I also have a fragrance that I love so much and this is Tom Ford White Suede. It's probably my favorite Tom Ford fragrance. It smells very nice, very kind of like, um, I can't really describe it, but basically it's like, like suede and... Oh, it's really difficult to explain. You have to go and check this out. It's incredible. And I also have a candle in the same scent. I'll leave a link below for it if I can find it. I really, really love it. And I think it's quite different comparing to most of the scents that I normally go for. Okay, so then I have my house key here. And there's only one key because it's just my house key and nothing else. I also have a key to my office. And um, I have a few other keys as well, but I don't really bring them anywhere. I only just bring this one even if I bring this one because most likely um, I kind of lose it in one of my bags or coats and then I can't find it. And then I always have to call my sister to either lock the door or to unlock the door for me. So yeah, that's not the best, but you know, it's always been like that though. Ever since I was like six or seven, I would always forget the house key and then I would have to sit outside with my school bag kind of, well, not really six or seven. I don't think I, I was going alone to school. I was going to school by myself at six or seven, but maybe like nine or ten for sure. I was going to school by myself at that age, and I basically would always um, forget a key. And then I would sit outside of my house waiting for one of my parents to come back from work because there were no mobile phones then, right? Anyway, I think my mo first mobile phone, I got my first mobile phone when I was 13, and it was like Nokia something. I'm digressing too much. Anyway. Next thing that I have in here are these favorite sunnies that you could have seen in my previous video and these are the Fendi Can I. Oh my god, I just realized they matched the bag because they're both Caleb Can I Fendi babies. Have you guys seen, by the way, my Fendi uh, latest campaign that I shot um, in collaboration with the brand? Um, I'm obsessed with it. It's very different for me, very unusual and I will try and insert some pictures for you guys to see. I just really, really love it. It makes me so happy. It was such a fabulous day. I was riding that bike and I did fall once, but anyway, that's not really important. It did happen. These things happen. I was wearing, I was riding a bike in high heels. I mean, like, give me some credit in a maxi dress, right? Next thing that I have to show you are some chewing gums. These are my favorite dark blue airways. They're really, really strong and fresh. And when I'm like really thirsty or when I feel like my mouth is dry, this is the best thing ever. Then I have Lush Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. This is one of my all-time favorite Lush products, or probably favorite Lush products and most repurchased. This is probably the best nail and cuticle care you will find on the market, or at least I did so far. I really love it, and currently I'm super into looking after my cuticles and my nails. I'm keeping them kind of moderately short and always nude, and I really, really love this product. It's incredible. It's a bit greasy, but it's great. Okay, I have a lot of beauty products. I have this new Armani, uh, what is this called? Ecstasy Shine Lipstick in 101, and it's not actually what I'm wearing right now on my lips, but I will apply a little bit of this. This is um, what I like to apply when I want to go for easy mirrorless application. Something that has a bit of like, it has like nude tint, but also it's very um, sheer and light and moisturizing. Doesn't leave a lot of color, but it's like a perfect everyday nude. Then I also have Charlotte Tilbury uh, Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. This is actually what I'm wearing right now around my lips and I really love this. And what I was wearing on my lips is a matte nude, which is currently my biggest obsession. It is Dolce & Gabbana Faux Collection. This one is in shade Dolce Carezza. And it is a matte nude lip. This is what I was initially wearing. It's amazing. I will leave a link below. I love the Ultra Beauty, you guys know that. This is incredible. Their full collection, I think, is out already. It's available in Harrods, so yeah, this is just incredible. I'm yet to try the burgundy from the collection. I haven't had a chance to try it on yet. Then, of course, my passport and the boarding pass from this morning. What does it say? Something Bob or Rob? I'm not sure. Anyway, it says here that I was that my gate closed at 725 
a.m. which is very very early in the morning but anyway everything's fine and my passport stuff uh, in my Louis Vuitton passport holder what have I got inside of it my old new passport and my residence card so that's it and a receipt what is this this is my transazione eseguita so something in Italy uh, okay Enrico's gonna kill me now Paruciere Mario Via della Vigna Nueva 22 basically it's a hairdresser receipt that I paid 109 euros it was like a blow dry a manicure pedicure was a lot of things and then I have creme de rose a soothing plumping lip balms one of my favorite lip balms as you guys know and um, I always run out of these and then I have like millions of them lying in my house because I'm always so scared that I'm not gonna be able to get them that I buy so many and yeah basically it's the best lip balm for me ever and it smells of roses then I have a box of Barocca at the bottom of my bag but it's empty which is weird this is like my little obsession Barocca especially before fashion month tried to have at least one a day I didn't have one today because it was kind of a weird day but this is honestly one of my favorite things. I make sure to have like a one liter bottle, then I put two in and I just drink it while I'm getting ready in the morning or in the evenings and this really keeps me healthy throughout the fashion month. Fashion month is a very very busy period. I'm not complaining because I love being busy. I love feeling like I'm hardworking. I hate feeling like I overslept or I don't know like losing moments I don't like losing moments I love experiencing life so it's very important time for me you guys know I'm very into fashion very into like fashion brands specific um, styles learning more about new brands experiencing like up-and-coming designers and their designs so for me fashion month is extremely important and I'm gonna try and drink Barocca it's not an advert by the way I like it doesn't have to be Barocca for me it's just like I like the taste of this I don't like the boost taste it's so weird that sometimes when I like mention weird things you guys are always like is this an ad it really like I rarely ever advertise on my YouTube channel whereas my blog and Instagram are a different thing those are kind of my worky channels more but my YouTube is just I really want to speak to you guys so yeah anyway um, I forgot to tell you the first and most important thing that was in my bag but I took it out right away and that is my iPhone... Oh, my friends are texting me. Okay, so I've got an, like an iPhone 7 Plus, whatever, like the biggest one. And it has this amazing, amazing phone case with my initials on it. I'm not that vain to get it for myself. I mean, we're all a bit vain, it's fine. I got this case at a launch dinner of my friend's website. So Anna and Flori just launched their website called And Finally, and they kindly gifted me this case that I love so much. And I am like so 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 obsessed with it. You can't really see it, but this is like woven. It's material and this is rubber around it. It's amazing. Let's see what else I have here. Not really many things. I have like something from Fendi which says, Can I, Liberty, whatever, something, pre-fall, <laughs> I think, or fall 2017. I don't know, something, some quotes. Ooh, I have this! This is kind of amazing. So I went for this Victoria's Secret bra fitting last week and it was where they measure you. And I, I was like, I mean, I haven't really changed in sizes on my body in like forever. So I was like, I know exactly what size I am. Um, it's not really a secret, I'm 34C. It's kind of like the most common size I think there is. And then the lady was like, no, actually you've been wearing the wrong bra size all along. And I was like, no way. So she re-measured me and I found out I was actually 32 double D, which is interesting because I was 100% sure. So I got it done on 31st of August, uh, 2017. I just, I, I was just basically curious and I wanted to check it out. So I was very surprised and now I'm like, oh, well, that's interesting, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was really worth paying a visit. And now I've got only this thing from the chewing gum. And nothing else. The bag is empty, as you guys can probably see now what it looks like inside. It is like the two compartments and the back pocket. It closes like this. It opens by clicking on a little button on the side here. 
I really love it. I love the strap. There are so many different straps that you can get for this bag. But even if I wear like a simple sweater like this, it kind of looks nice. It completes the outfit almost. I really, really, really love it so much that I would probably get another Can I bag from Fendi. But now they're coming out with so many bags and the new F is Fendi logo is amazing. I'm so proud of the brand and so proud to be working with them because they are just like Fendi is just incredible it's definitely one of my favorite brands out there um, together with many other Italians and French people and French brands so yeah that is basically it for this what's in my bag video it was not very very long oh, I smell like um, Tom Ford white suede now and it's so amazing I love it um, yeah I guess I was kind of chatty but I would love to feel more questions and answers and things like that so if you guys would like to see that please let me know and I would definitely definitely love to feel more thank you so much for watching I will see you very soon bye